Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to continue the video Cytec or Cytec SCADA or Plant SCADA as part 2. In this video, we will open one of the interesting project as a project demo and we will check the configuration of the projects and check the configuration of the communications, setup, startup projects, etc. And also the main things for graphics. We will check the uh, overview, properties, pop-ups, Jenny, Super Jenny, etc. And also we will run one of the uh, that project and check some of the troubleshoot points in the SCADA systems. Let's continue with that uh, SCADA system now. Click the Windows button and here you can find the Schneider. See from here in the Schneider electric, if you drag down, you can find there is some files called uh, Vigio SciTech computer setups and also Vigio SciTech documentation, the Vigio SciTech uh, explorer and runtime. Actually, I am planning to use now the old version because for the plant SCADA, it's a little bit complicated if you open uh, as a new. So better my suggestion, you can open Vigio SciTech first, then it is very easy to open the plant SCADA. For the plant SCADA, already I introduced and I make a video for the first part. So you can check that for the plant SCADA. For the same, the this one for Vigio SciTech, it is very easy to understand also. So I will open from the Vigio SciTech SCADA system today. See now, double click this Vigio SciTech Explorer. Once you double click, See, it will open as three part. One is Vigio SciTech Explorer and the other one is Graphics Builder and the third one is Project Editor. So from uh, these are the three main part it will open whenever you will open the Explorer. Okay, there is many other parts inside but that one we can see here. See, now if you see here there is three project already open. Okay, I already explained uh, before itself. If you need to open, uh, create the project, you can create a new project and add the project links, everything here. But and also you can make a backup and restore from here. See, there is many options. And also you can find here also in the tool. Backup and restore. See, this file should be CD set. I told you already before. If you need to restore, CTZ. Okay, you can browse and you can import the file directly. And also you can make uh, backup this example particular one. Just click and give the uh, backup where you need to backup and give OK. It will be backup automatically. And also you can find the location, the complete folder location also in that place. You can you can use here two things. One dot cdz file also we can take or you can take as complete folder also it will be stored in the schneider program data or uh, program data locations okay now what i will do now here yeah, this is uh, the project uh, which we worked with before so i will use that project so we can check in this project what we have exactly see once you open the folder you can find here the main sections graphics equipments tags alarms systems communications psycode files and psycode vba files okay this is the major uh, folders uh, automatically it will be created inside your main project file okay these graphics uh, files it will be opened directly from the graphics builders or if you if you see here if you if you open the graphics you have many pages see this is the, all the pages in your projects okay if you need to click you can double click the pages directly from here also see editor and screens see you can see the page page of aerators and if you need to see other screens aerator and screw pumps alarms alarm summary clarifiers everything it is available here in these pages 
If you go here new, you can find some of the pages. See here, SXGA, you have some files. Okay. And also you can, you, it can be seen in the symbols. See, in the symbols, you can find all the symbols which you used in the project. See, I used here multiple symbols. So I have lot of symbols available in this section. And also if you go for Jenny, Genius, and you find file Super Genie also. See here. If you need to open, open any one, you can find the particular one also. Okay. See all the uh, symbols you can find from here, Jenny and Super Genie. If you and if you if you use any equipments you can find here in this equipment section and also the tags see here you can open directly from local where see you can open the tags from here also and it will be open in the project editor directly okay see this is the three i told you this is the three important one one is project editor the uh, this one side is site tech explorer sorry and other, the second one is the graphics builder and third one is the project editor. Okay, so this three is the main thing and other remaining all it will be open from your uh, in this project folder directly. See even you have all the alarms here. Digital alarm, timestamp, analog alarms, advanced alarm, multiple timestamp. Uh, alarm categories everything and also the site code files you can open directly from here itself see here if you double click it will be open separate uh, file called site code editor and from here you can find your all your uh, scripts of the uh, pumps see here the, these are pump scripts and all the scripts available here this one we will see uh, at later uh, stage because uh, now you will cover cover our important topics today. So now what I will do now, I will open the project at, as I informed before. This is our interesting project, which we it's uh, we use Schneider M uh, M uh, Premium PLC and M three forty PLC in this in this project, and uh, I will show you now today. How, how I configure these complete projects and the com communication setups and also how I try, how we can make the startup projects and also the graphics overviews everything okay now in this project I told you before which project you are selecting select if you select it will select automatically here and this same project it will be selected see here you can find from here see project editor you can find the same name but it is uncombined because if you open now and we may, maybe there is some small changes happen so it's showing uncombined and from here i told you before you have this is the main topics equipment editors you can find your equipment equipment status this everything and the main thing you need to see here the tags this is the variable tags you can find all your variable tags in this project which we used you can find from here see i have almost 1555 tags records i have already okay. so uh, whenever you are you are open the pro any project you can first find this tag directly after that the main things for alarm if you make any alarms categories and alarms uh, everything so you can find here for any of the project the base one is cluster see this is the cluster name i created at the earlier stage and after you create the cluster, uh, cluster you need to be set up your network this is your network for the this is the plc network uh, scada network see this one all uh, SCADA 1, 2, 3, 4 like this and after you make the SCADA network then you need to be come to this point communications this is express wizard once you click the express wizard see this this page will open 
express communication wizard okay here you can you need to be make your io device configuration okay if you click this one you can it will be show you create a new io server or you can create the using the existing io servers if you need to create a new server you can click here and create one new but if you have already you already have that uh, io server now inside you want to configure so you need to modify that existing io server so i will modify now just click q next and it will ask you create a new io device i will use the same io device name and if you go here here there is three part one is external io device one is persistent memory io device and third one is disk io device external io device i already explained in the previous section also external means this is the external plc you are connecting your scada system with that external plc systems so if you click next you can find here the external device see you have many drivers this whenever you are installing the visio sitec or plant scada you have option to select the drivers but default it will select most of the drivers but some of the specialized drivers like some specific drivers you need to be select at that moment okay when you are installing at the first time or you just need to give modify and add again if you need to add some of the drivers see here you have abb you have abb you have two types of drivers and you have see advantech and this is the rockwell allen bradley plc so you can find here many drivers see if you click allen bradley 5000 series you can uh, find ethernet tcp ip and if you give next and you can configure it will be configured automatically this model 5000 series abclx recommended and tcp ip if you are using micrologic use this one micrologic ethernet ip or serial if you are using other plc series you have other c here control logics interface board data iv plus there is many and ethernet ip tcp ip and ethernet plus ab interchange software there is many uh, uh, for the rockwell plc see even you have plc 3 series plc 5 series plc 5 Dash two fifty series SLC five thousand five hundred series. See so you have many drivers. So almost all your PLCs, their drivers it is available here. So you don't need to be do anything for see most of them it will be support with even if you open Schneider, uh, M Schneider Modbus TCP itself it will support most of the other Modbus TCP also. okay but they already introduced many drivers inside this uh, sitex scada system so if you go for dnp3 you have under dnp3 tcp and serial also and if you go for further down ge attache and even hunter okay, and also you can see the elg microsoft modicon see this modicon you have already advances uh, legacy m5 m340 m340 or tu premium quantum tdo and at the time there is no m580 because now if you see in the plant scada you can find that one also uh, so you can use mostly under that m340 itself for m580 and if you go further down you can you have schneider also again the same it is repeating again and before that you can see profibus and also see Re reliance electric industry communications sn pmp see so again you can see the schneider electric okay in this schneider electric you can see a yes, see almost the same things m340 or tu tcp and also see this one dnp over over tcp or over serial premium quantum tdo wade or tu and also for siemens you can see again one of the big list for siemens also see here profibus 
compactable PLCs, S7, 200, 300, 400 series and also semantic there is many uh, models also. So you have almost all the PLCs it will be covered here including CA Kukawa, Toshiba, Telemechanic tele again it will cover through the same Modicon, Schneider or Telemechanic. The same Schneider family. So you have almost all the branded PLCs manufacturers models it is available here. And if I go for back here, this external, this one, persisted memory I.O. device. If you click next, you, you can see the same almost, but, and also you can see from here OPC server also, the same things what you used before here. What is the difference between these two? And you have another one called disk I.O. device. There is three things, you, you need to know the difference. See, if you are using any external device, you can use this one as external. If you are using for any persistent memory I.O. device, this means persistent I.O. device, this is the tag it will catch from the I.O. device and it is written on XML file at a certain period. It will allow the last enabled data to reload the following in sh uh, until it will follow until the shutdown. This means this persistent uh, memory I.O. device, it will be used from the PLC data, but it will be stored in, not it will not take directly from the PLC. It will be stored in some XML file and it will take the data from the XML file and it will be updated in the SCADA systems. Okay. This is the difference. Therefore, if you see the symbol itself, this is direct PLC. This is taken from PLC, but it will be stored in some of the files. This is called XML file and it will be stored in some certain period. And it will be shown again. Uh, uh, it will be take, the scatter system will take from that uh, file and it will be executed. Until the file will be shut down or the scatter system will be shut down it will be executed from that file okay this is persisted and if you go for disk io device disk io device it is little bit differ because this disk io device the data is stored in a file on the hard disk or certain location or specific location okay so the PLC data, it will be stored first in the R drive or in specific location and it will take from that place. If the Vijo Cytec is restarted, then the data is still available. But the disk I.O. device can also shared across the network with other Vijo Cytec computers. Okay, so this is the difference. So you have external, persistent and disk I.O. device. So, if you are using any uh, XML sheet or any CSV file or anything, it will be stored from here and you can take that data also and it will store in your system. So, mostly you need to be, if you do, if you have any confusion or anything, select only this external device. Okay, because this one persistent memory means I told you, you need to create some memory to store your data there. Uh, it will be stored and it will take from that data from that uh, XML file. And this is also, it can be stored from the disk I.O. device also. It will be stored from uh, some hard disk or specific locations. See, everything it will be stored here, but it will be, you can configure directly like the same configuration. But the device types, I.O. device types, you have to select properly. If you don't know anything, select this external. I.O. device before don't select these things okay now I just select uh, this thing and if you give next it will ask you to give the uh, OP, this is OPC yeah? so I will give an example M, M340 PLC example I will give TCP IP if I select it will ask you the IP address if you enter the IP address 192 example anything 168 0 example 1 and you have to give the port 502 
and it will ask you TCP or UDP. Usually you will need to select TCP. And if you give next, after that see here. Select the option if you have IO device to link with external type database. If, the, so if your IO device is connected with any external database, you have to give the link. Okay, example, you are, you are connected through your OFS link. So you have to select this any of the option. And you have to give where you need to be external database stored link. If you, don't, if you don't have, just click don't enable this function and give your finish. Once you make the finish, it will be automatically created for you the uh, TCP uh, driver types everything okay this is the first step you have to make in any of the SCADA system once you created your I told you first step you have to create the clusters then second step you have to create the network address the third step you have to create you have to make the express wizard if you make the exp exp uh, express wizard this will be automatically created see these all functions ports, port, modems, this modem you are not using but if you are using you have to I will show you on the points IO devices and not here no issue okay this all see all it is interlinked and and also I will show you the clusters okay first it is cluster you can keep one by one here port board IO server IO device and network address this all it will be created uh, once you created the cluster it will it will be see after that it will go to network from the network address it will be created here for you io server after this io server see this is linked with the port the port is the plc port see this address of the plc then this port is linked with the board the board and port and after that io device I don't know now currently it is showing some error but this is the steps for the communication setups okay this one you first you need to understand this one properly all it is linked with this one. see the board one it is linked here and board one port one and port one you can see this is linked from here see uh, this one server name this server is linked with network network is linked with cluster okay now we will uh, go for the next point how to configure the uh, we already checked this uh, communication setup uh, express and one more point we have here for here see here you have SciTech Explorer you know already a graphics filter sci code editor we already know, know that it is configured for scripting and everything and the main thing you have to know that here these two point computer setup wizard and computer setup editor see the same you can find here also if you open the main project here here the, you have a lot of options no? so you need to be understand what is new and here run and this equipment editor psycode graphics and also the computer setup see here you can click either here or you can click from this place see this one okay wizard this computer setup wizard is the one it will be configured your complete project example now i will show from See, I will close now all these. I will show that one how 
I am configuring this basic setup. Click here. See this is the one. It will ask you to make your computer setup wizard. Okay, this one you have two options. One is express setup or custom setup. Express means it will be very fast. It will be completed. If you need more detail, you can go with customs and give next. See, it is not compiled. First, you have to make a compile your project. Okay, so what I will do now? See, this is going with example. So what I will do now, first I will make a compile this project. Okay. After you compile, make your setup. Even if, see, it is, uh, sorry, I make with the uh, express. Okay, it will be, you need to be select your project. You have two project combined, example and combo. Okay, the, so I will combine this project. Just I will make the computer setup for this. And here you have options. See, because here it's not showing server and client because at the earliest stage, this computer I make is for client. So it is showing control client or you can use viewpoint client. Okay, the control, the server and control client this means you have the complete role of server okay it will be take the data directly from server and you can take for historical trends alarms everything in this role but control client it will be taken from the client pc but server also if see if if no server matches the computer then this computer must be client okay when you are configured no? At the time, your IP address should be matched with this same computer network. If it is matching, then it will go here as server. If it is not matching with your computer, then it is, it, it is this means it is client PC. And it will ask you, this is network is standalone or network. If you are making like a network, you can put network. Otherwise, you have to give standalone. You are connecting directly from PLC to SCADA. There is no uh, small network you have and you, do, you need to configure only one PLC or SCADA. Then you can give standalone. And give here. The client is intended to use the SCADA IP server. And see this one, it's for certain, uh, security purpose. If you need, configure the server password. Otherwise, you have to give the same. Give finish. This is the basic step, but if you are, if you need to configure further, go customs, give the same. You see here you have already another option, full license or like this. And net network, see here, you have many options you have here. Here you have to give the CPU setup. If you need to modify, modify the CPU, how much you need. You need to give complete CPU, maybe some CPU part. This is for artwork uh, CPU memory and other things. Okay, if you go here, you have to enable these events. If you need to enable, enable these events. And it will the events are triggered by actions through this setup. Okay, and this is the main point. Okay, when, when uh, this startup functions, See, you have to give your, you can modify and give your startup function also. This is for startup function and this is for cluster connections. Okay, and if you give next, and it will ask you, SciTech configuration menu, it's required. Full screen, shutdown, uh, shutdown on menu, kernel, and this show, show title bar. And also you can give the keyboard shortcut and miscellaneous options in a bit screen server while running a site tech is running okay and also display the cancel button at startup and here see this is a very important other point you have to give your which pro, which one you need to be open as earlier at the first 
uh, maybe I need to open my main screen. This is the startup page. Okay. Uh, here in this place, in Vijo SciTech up to 7.4 or the later version you can use here, but plant scada it is a little bit different. Okay, but up to here you can use your startup page here. And each page scan, scan time you can use this one also you can modify. See now I will finish. Well, this is the basic steps you have to make in your application. Okay. So uh, you almost we cover the main configuration setups and everything in the video site tech or plan scada. Okay. Now what we will do now? I will open the application. I will show the what we need to be configured for graphics, overview pages, properties, pop-up, jenny, super jenny, etc. So these very important points you need to be understand. And for the troubleshooting points. I will I will give another hint for this point. See here, computer setup wizard. So this one is very important for everyone to know what is this. See this file location is available in this place. Okay, Vijo Sitech, uh, program data, Vijo Schneider Electric, Vijo Sitech config, Sitech dot INF file. See here. Each one, what you are configuring, you need to be see. You can change this modification. Example for alarm, what you need, save memory where it need to be, uh, same primary, say where it should be store your primary uh, server locations like uh, backup locations, and the scan time, scan length, the summary length, summary timeout, everything. If you need to modify this value, click here and modify from here. And after that, you apply, add here. It will be a modify automatically. See, you can give all the backup location where I need to store my backup. See, it is here. See, users, Ramesh, desktop, Umran. This is my backup path. Okay, same. If, I, if you have any doubts for this, if you click here, you can find this right side. Okay, you have the complete uh, description as well as what is the value you need to put. Zero means unchecked, one means checked. Example, if you go for SciTech sci code, you can see here. I will show some other things. Editor, see here, SciTech editor. See here, you have a lot of locations like where is the bin location, where is the configuration. See, if you click the config, you can find all related to the configurations see well, what you need to do for directory visual site configuration such as ini file located where you need to be fine and how to copy how to modify how where you can find the log files everything you have here and this is the help file for this co configurator ini file this ini file is very important if you have anything you can find from this INI file what is the exact issue and what you configured and even see the font size default font size uh, page size and where uh, the runtime locations start uh, and if you go here further you can find even default template for this project everything so this is one you can tell this is the like master file for this project okay and even you can find all even some of the instead of making the project is you can tell the complete project is running through this file okay this file will help to run this this is the ini file this this file is running the complete setup of your project Okay, so you need to be understand this file. If you don't know how to, what you need to do in this one, see here. If you go for home screen, see this is mentioning that this is the screen it will run as home screen, but startup screen is main server. So you need to change this one also. If you put the same, 
see main screen here for startup also and you have to apply see it's changed already after you make change you need to save this one see you have option here to save see here saved ini file like this if you give ok it will save the file okay so this is one of the important point you need to be understand that is computer setup aid okay and now we will move to the next one because here in the project editor i told you the main thing is all the tags variables you need to be created here and also the alarm setups everything here see alarm categories this is the category of default see here okay i will explain here some of the other important points tags i already i told you you can create all the tags here and for uh, trend see all the trends if you need to create the trend, trend everything you can use here in the same place unknown field okay now we will if you go here see you have here keyboard commands keyboard keys see this all if you need to use for any commands for keyboard you can use these functions if you have any reports you can use the report function here events see here you can put see they already have some functions called trigger when the time each this time is equal to zero it will give one action called on minute zero fn function this function will generate through the Psy code editor okay see whenever that times come if you if you put the same Psy code name for that so it will be run the script directly and also the events will generated here through if you what you are creating here and the other main things if you go here users see you can give the users name passwords everything and also if you you can you can make your roles groups and users everything from here see role i'll give for admin i will give the privileges for one to eight and if you go for further like for uh, you can make great for example operator i will give only privileges for one two and you can so you can create the privileges and every uh, roles and everything from here and all even though if you need to change any other things like main config menu configurations parameters and also the included projects you can find from here which projects is included with your link with your project and this communication servers and these three we already seen before so now we will move to graphics editor graphics filter okay if you see this is the graphics filter if you click here you can create new if you make a new you have ph template symbol jenny super jenny okay see now uh, what i will do now i will open here and this is the pages which we created at earlier if see if you, if you can see here in the preview here okay and this is my project so you can find all the pages which we created in this project you can find from here I will open one of the screen, any one. Okay. See here, you can find this is for analog and this is for the pump and this is for the status of the pump. And you can see here, see if you double click, it will not open. It will open like this analog underscore indicator. This means what? How we I can open this one? See here, you can give your tag name directly here itself. Okay, you can copy the tag name and put here itself. 
and why it's opening and how I can give. See if you click here, this is motor. Okay, this is tag and this is the description for the tag. So you, I am seeing like this. And uh, now I need to know that how I can um, uh, like add my tag and how uh, what is this exactly? See, this is called motors. Where I can open the motor? Where I can find this? You need to be see if you open here, you cannot find here motor. Because this is pages. Okay, if you go for template, you can see some of them only. See, this is the template they used in this project. Okay, like alarm, header, footer, and this type of things is called templates, symbols. Okay, if you go here, I can I did not find. See, this is the one I am seeing now currently. See some of the symbols I can find here. This is now I need to see for motor. See here, this one motors. No? So, where I can find properly? See this one open symbols, and you need to be search for motor. See if I come here, there is I think motor we have here. But this one, you have a lot of symbols, but you cannot find immediately where is the motor. See, here you have meter. Yeah, here I have motor small, motor big, like this only. See here. If you see, see this motor is different, then this is different. So I need to find this, this same motor. So the better, see if you don't know where to find, first you can open this uh, site explorer. Okay, here you can see all the graphics I told you before. If you go here, templates, see here some of the places you can see some of them on. Like example, this is the title bar and here you did not find anything. If you go for symbols, see here we have a lot of symbols here. This is a symbol I opened in this location. See here. The same you are searching here. The same things, symbol, Jenny, super Jenny. See here, you can find the same things in this place. In this place. See here the same symbols. Okay. But if you go for here libraries, Jenny's. See here you can find the motor. See here. The best way if you need to know, you can open from here. In your project. Open directly from here. Okay. And so you can find the same animation. Like example, you the same name what you are searching here example this one analog underscore indicator okay. so you can find from here analog underscore indicator this is the file this is the jennings see if i double click it will open here directly and from here if you see everything is script uh, like it is opened as a jenny jenny means what I already explained in the first uh, video before previous video that Jenny is you can tell that you are going to create thousand pumps or this analog indicator like a 10,000 analog indicators so you cannot create at each time the same indicator so you have to create this is you can tell that the symbol uh, like instance Okay, this instance you can use in many places. It is repeating in your project. So you can ask to create at one time. And if you modify the year, it will be modified in other all the other places automatically. So this is your master file or indicator uh, like master instance. This instance, what you are changing here, this object, it will be automatically changing all over the place. 
the same scenario if we see in our previous videos for uh, I, uh, we created na, uh, in the Unity Pro application for the in the PLC application also the same scenario if you, you are creating one motor or one uh, analog uh, scaling uh, block okay the this block is repeating in many many uh, places in your project or this motor is that motor is repeating in many places so you have to create one one time only okay that you can take and paste in everywhere okay the same thing here from the plc prescriptive you are telling this one as uh, derived function block derived function block okay this derived uh, that derived function block you are you are creating at one time and you are repeating in many places same here you are creating in the site tech in the scada in the site tech you are telling this one as jenny in this jenny you are creating the library for each and every equipment example you are creating for analog those display analog indicator motor one motor two motor see different motor file this is the motor file okay so you are creating all the uh, instance like a, a, all the equipment here see motor one this is the motor one see motor 3 if you modify this motor see here see you need to be understand here once you open your jenny you can find if you double click this one you can find your properties okay in these properties you you are putting the name called percentage tag percentage this tag is the name you need to be it can be used in your project See this pump one is the common name because you are using here as pump one, no? motor pump one. This is the common name. This percentage tag percentage and percentage n. If you open your application, open here. Uh, where is this uh, graphics? Open any one of the graphics which we used before okay anyone see here okay we will come to this point itself double click you have either in in trend name t1 unit this is the name it will come default see this name in trend name t1 unit if you open here open here analog indicator see if you open this graphics see this is the intern name your text this is the display name okay equipment name and the other names you already used the other names also if you click your properties close see here this is the t t1 if you click this one is the unit okay this is the unit this is the t1 this is the intern internet name okay so this all the names which you given is here it will come here as common name see here if you click here it will become here as a common name like here so this name you have to fill how it will be created automatically okay just you need to know that okay now i am going to create one create one new and you have to change the names Once you created here the jenny, see here you have to create here. Okay, after 
when you created any one of the name like you are already created one pop up okay i will go for indicator itself you are going to create this one okay see here just i will instead of creating i will give save as i will give one name for this analog indicator one okay and i am going to change the name here here i will give here t23 and the upside i will give the appearance name test1 okay and i am going to save now and this name is in the library you can see here library 1 analog indicator 1 okay just what i will do now i will open the pages okay here i will i will add that one which you added currently the graphics the same object i will add here see yeah you have here already you created objects also you can find from here see here paste the symbol paste the jenny and you can go here button see here you have lot of options no? even you can if you need you can take from here directly if you have see here. and also if you need see if you need to create from zero you can create here see here paste here jelly and if you give here new it will be open the new page so you can create your own symbol and you can import here directly okay this is the one one of the way also and if from our side is the symbol see here you have lot of symbols no? okay i'm about just start from here this is for site code import you can see if you have any any symbols images you can import directly from here itself from our case for this analog indicator you used here analog underscore indicator no? so what we need to do here just open here and go to jenny and find here because you save that one no? analog indicator so once you open here see here it's came directly click here see this is the one you need to be this is the one you changed so this one you has to see here this is your properties of the analog indicator so you has to use the same here so this is uh, this one this uh, same indicator you can need to use you can uh, you can you need to be select from here only see you have here options to for uh, to insert the paste the jellies here see once you paste the jenny you can find here 
if you come down see you have many options this is all it is already available as default in your SciTech library itself see these all symbols but our case you already created here if you see here this is library one library one means you created we created for this project so you have to search that one in your place see this is the library if you click library one what you created in your project you can find that one directly see here analog this is the one i created indicator one see which i given the name na? test under tense name t223 unit so this is the one i created see i can give if if i know the tag name i can put directly Test name example this is test one and this one just give anything for just for testing unit I can give ppm example same just give I had some variables tags were not found because I given some names no? without I did not given the same tag names see it's added so if you are creating a new jenny like this create from here i told you before paste there is option here to create also this is the paste see the click and if you need to create first you can create like all your symbols and you can use in this project or if you need to create from new see here we have option called new i am going to make one something here template see once this is the one button okay i will give button after you created if you save see it will ask you to save the name okay you can give button one and give okay once you give, see, once you give here, again, if you open here, paste, see, button one. You can use this button one. Okay. This is the thing, how you are creating the jelly. Okay. Now, we will go for another one called super jelly. Okay, this one. Okay, if you go for super jelly here, see here, it cannot, you cannot find super jelly directly. See here, even if you go for your properties, go to open, if you go for super jelly, you cannot find anything. Okay, in this case, what is super jelly and why I did not able to find C here. Okay, now my question now, if I double click this some of the buttons, example pop, it will open all pop up. What is that pop up here? See, I did not find anything pop up in this see this is page this is templates and if you go this is the symbols this is jelly where is the pop-up and where i can find this pop-up see now you cannot find directly from anywhere even this pump each pump you have pop-up sure and this pop-up cannot find here See, there is one way to find, either if you know the pop-up of that uh, exactly page, you can find from it. Okay, you can put the name here by percentage or you can go to find first. See here, you can find the pop-up. See, the pop-up are used by this tag, like example, see, exclamatory sg underscore open close. If you come here, you can find the pop-up here, see, 
exclamatory uh, symbol uh, V A L one. This is for one. See now I find this one, but I cannot find it anywhere in this uh, any place, and because this is you cannot find directly until, but uh, you need to know where you can find this data. See here I can find from this place. Only from the find. See this is the pop up for pumps. See this is the pop up for valve. This is the pop up for pump. See here. So this one, this pop up, you can create same like how you are creating with generally. See the like all the symbols, everything you can take and you can make a pop up. But this pop up, see. If you opened any one, you, can, you have lot lot of functions inside. No? See, uh, auto manual like there is because if I continue this one, it will take still lot of hours. Maybe it will take more than five six hours to continue the complete video, like a complete tutorial. But for our current case, I will do some important steps now. On the next session, I will cover for the complete next, uh, like uh, how to create this pop up, how to how to make the scripting for this, and how I can link with this uh, pop up to your system, everything. But now I will just go to you like overview of that. See if you click here. I can find only motor. If I click motor, it will open the pop-up. This pop-up link, see for each one, cannot find here directly. Okay, but if I go to the properties of the pump, I can find something. No? So I need to first find that what they link. If you go for example motor, okay, same motor, motor 5. I click now. See, this is the motor file. If I find here the appearance, appearance I given this one as multi state. Multi state means multi color. Okay, one is zero, A, B, because this is zero, zero means red color. One, zero, because this one I make like a multiple, multi variables, like multi state. If I give only on or off, like uh, visible or invisible, something I can give here. If I make array also, I can give animated, but I used here as multi-state. Multi-state means I can use the same pump for, if it is zero, zero means off. Off means zero, zero, it is, I can give here as red color. One means on. See, one, zero. One, zero, I given red color. Zero, one. Like this is A, B, and this one, see, this is the A, this is the B. Any fault, okay? B means it is fault, and this one, A, B means on and fault. Okay, this you can understand here no? from A and B condition. A tag name is on, tag name underscore on means the pump one, on means A. A should be on. Zero zero means off. Everything is off. A means this one on. B means fault. A B means on and fault. This one. So I given the color based on that. If I need to add more, I can add also. But in the current situation, you have only two, so you have added four different state. This is for the appearance. Okay. Same, if you need to make it for invisibility also, when you need to be idle, hidden this uh, pump, you can give also that one. But this is for movement, you are moving one place to another place, and this is for scaling, this is you are using for analog. And here, see, this is another pump, for touch. If you touch this one, the push button, like if you press that button, uh, pump, your pump 5 tag n this is the one you are given here as command 
but this command how it is linked with your script so this one we will see further see and other there is nothing there okay this pump file na no? when you click pump file see that pop up should be open if you see further some same like other i will open other page i will show you from that other page open pages open clarifier or okay you have here okay here i have the same pump here i have different pump also or i have walls also see each one they have some functionality for the pop up i need to open the pop up no? now i need to find out to make the pop up for that see here you have slant motor also if you see all the script which i made here see any any of them if you open he made the same thing like here the command this is the action action and this is the down command pump to tag n see here you have the function first you need to know how to create this all okay this one example now i told you you has to create you has to link this this things example see here clarifier pump one we use here to rotate the functionality also so if you click here you you we you made this one by cycle See this. This symbols whenever you are using FX here, this means you are using a cycle properties. See here. This one already it is used cycle properties. See, I will show you. See this one. This function is already made through property uh, like group. See, I I will make ungroup. stirrer if you open the stirrer you can find see here s t i r r e stirrer see here this is made by cycle okay cycle what they mention if big stirrer less than 100 and big direction this direction is zero then big stirrer is equal to big stirrer plus 5 else big stirrer is equal to 1 this means this this is the stirrer this stirrer if it is equal to less than 100 and the big direct this big dar is equal to 0 this means it should be equal to For each it will be add like a five five counters, okay. Until hundred, it will be move like a five 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 like. When it's reach it's equal to one big direct, this means it will stop the like. Same thing here. If the big steer is greater than zero, and I will make a minus. This means up to hundred, it will be make one direction. After reach hundred. it will if it is equal to 100 or less than 100 then after the 100 it will become reduced to move the direction to the negative okay when you it's running you can see this symbol see this one will be rotate and uh, you can see the animation of that okay
Okay, but the, this animation we made by Psycode editor. Okay, by scripting through that uh, logics. If you go further, I will show you mainly to how to use these. See here. Here, if you see all every one, we already make by grouping. If you make ungroup, or if you if you open, see now if you need to know what I how I make the scripting, just open this any any one of the any one of the library, open the motors. See here, just make ungroup. Once it's ungrouped, We link this one directly to the script. Okay, this is one. Now we will open the genies. From there, I will show you how to make the pop up for that. See here, this is one of the world. And if you right click and ungroup after that, you can find. See, I will double click. And I, I can uh, see, I, I will make that already multi state. If it is A, this is means open, B close, this means this is 0, A means open, B means close, A, B means open and close means I will show this color and C means I will open, <coughs> if it is C active, this is the C active, no? this is B active, no? if you go down, see you have a lot of colors. So if it is C only active, it will show you manual open, manual close like this. So this is the multi-state color for the wall and if you go for, see if I click the complete, double click and you can see here in the input, okay, if I click up and I show already, this is as metadata, I will explain this one and if you see here, this is page pop-up. I need to open this page pop-up. This is one way to open your pop-up. Okay. You can give page pop-up and in the open bracket you can give exclamatory mark MOV underscore SG. This is the pop-up it will open to for your wall. I can show you how we will open this one now. And this is the title. Windows title is equipment name. And further, you can see the color also. Like it should be on when it's green. And you can give the color and also the metadata. See this one. Equipment name, fault. See, I will give fault, fail to open, fail to open run time, fail to close, fail to close run time, fail to, like there is many functions. Fail, fail to open, run, manual open command, and also the open feedback, opening the feed, opening. This is like continuing, still not open. Opening and ready, reset, stop, see, and uh, auto manual, close everything for one part. Okay. And if you go here, I told you this one, MOV underscore SG. This pop up will be open automatically. I told you either you can make by directly by your command or you can make by script also see if i go here find you need to find that one here mov underscore sg this pop-up will be open for that if you click that one this pop-up will open okay <clears throat> if you see this pop-up See this one, you can put auto, manual and you can open and close. 
by through this your uh, pop up no? through uh, your command and you see this as information details no? this one you entered already see this all detail you entered already here if you open here you can find here okay the, the equipment name it will be taken from that name and it will open underscore exe this all you have to make by script not scripting this is the rule for the making the super genie in video site tech SCADA system okay similarly I will show for the pump see this is for the you can see for pump here see this is the pump uh, pop up you can find all the detail here remote ready auto ready manual ready run fail to open fail to close speed uh, feedback speed commands and also you can see run time run hour everything all the detail of the pump okay so this is the way how to make and also you can if you open the scripts you can find the scripts also now i will open for this same uh, with other one which i have i shown before okay. from the, that application just wait okay from what I will do now, I will close this application. Wait. I will close this application. No, don't save. <coughs> uh, I will. I will show. I will make. Uh, I will show you the overview of this code, and after that, we will run this application. Close. I will close all the applications. Okay. Now I will come to this one. This project. See, now here I told you before I can, either I can make from either by uh, directly I will give the command to open the pop up or from here also I will give for each pump see here I can give by the scripting also for as see as variable tax from 2 comma 0 and it will take remote uh, t, t1 no, before we given the names from the t1 underscore remote this means the name of the tag minus remote so this will be take directly and we already make this one all by scripting see this one will open directly by scripting here itself variable tax and win net at pump one this one will be open directly okay so either you can make by scripting or make by through this uh, script uh, directly by command see this is all by script Okay, there is two ways to open the super genie or pop-up page see that uh, that same you can find here you open now uh, here go here to that uh, place open sorry find here you can give, you can find the same name here pump -up. here wall pop this pop up will be open uh, through that script directly okay 
Now, what we will do now? I think we covered almost all the topics. Okay, I will go to the property and I will explain the property of the any one of the graphics. Just I will open one of the graphics. Okay, open clarifier. Uh, any one will open the graphics. Just I will explain the tags were all be created and the overview. I will explain the properties of the overview of the tag. See, just click on. See, this is the property for rectangle example. Okay, this is the rectangle. No? So the proper the this is the property page. It will open for rectangle and here the length. You can increase the width. See, this is the general. If you need to increase the width, you can put. See, it will increase directly. Five. And you can change the color. And also, you can put any one of the field, example field color. If you need, you can put the field color also. Okay. And also, if you need to make a moment, you can make by uh, take the tag from here, and you can change. And also, you can insert the functions also for that. And also, if you need to make a color, you can take uh, that. Uh, you can insert the tag. If you don't know how to uh, take the tag. You can take directly from the tag also. Go to here properties, local variables. Take example for remote or local open. Example on. Erator one on. Take this one, copy and use directly. Okay. Example put directly. Okay, if it is off means you can put one color red on means green like something like this okay you can put directly also and if you need to open by by script enable keep you put the page open and put the particular page to open pop up or anything how we shown before the same way and this is for slider slider you know already uh, this is for uh, variable 0 to you can use same this moment and uh, slider it can be used for analog and also for scaling okay our case i use for rectangle so i can you can use for uh, just showing like color changing or anything like this and this is for assess you can give for sometimes i told you you already given the privileges no? from the privileges range see here no privileges you can put the privileges range also. 1 to 8 we have. If you put privileges 5, if you have the operator cannot able to activate this, uh, like uh, change the color or you cannot control some of the functions. So you can do that one also by privileges for each one functions through the securities. Okay. And one more thing. See, I will show another thing also. If you open the main page, example, uh, I will show you the uh, first page, example, main home screen or main screen. Double click the screen. This example, this is your overall screen, or like home page. Right click the page. See, here, these properties, you can put the uh, screen as main screens like example this is your overview page no? previous screen and from your you can put if you click this page after you click it will go where which page you need to go example you need to go to overview page select overview and give overview so after you after this main page it will go directly to the overview page overview page means this page see this page Okay, 
This is the process, overview process. So it will open to this page. From this page, example, see here we have many options also. This is general. This one you can give to the which page you need to go. And also here, you can put the selection of the templates. Example, new where exactly you need to put the, which templates you need for this page. Example, you have already have header footer. So if you don't need this header footer in this page, you can put some standard, change that one also style and also you can put the resolution here itself and you can see this is the place you can find you can change your width heights and everything and if you go for here further you can put here the privileges also see if you put these privileges and keyboard commands you can use for this uh, uh, property and if you go for event see here on page entry, page exit, page uh, while page down, uh, like while page shown and on page shown. So you have this events also and environment. And also you can associate this page with another pages also. So there is many functions you can use from through these uh, properties. Okay, now what we uh, will do now. We will, we will save this application. I will close this. Uh, okay. Just I will select this project. I will make compile. Yes. After you compiled. If there is no warning, no issue. If there is any error, you cannot, you need to be, it cannot be run the project. So uh, for uh, SciTech uh, videos uh, like SciTech CADA, Video SciTech or France CADA, you can open this CADA system without any license. But after two hours, it will be uh, shut down automatically. But for uh, Plant SCADA, you need license huh? after so after version I think 2017 or above. You need to be use uh, license for the uh, old one. You don't need license up to two hours. See now, I am going to run because I use this version because of to show the demonstration to you. See, I am using version 7.4 service pack. Two. See, this is running by demo. Yes. And I will give the username automation. Automation for all. See, once it's login, see, it's go to our web page. From this page, see, you can click here directly for the particular area or you can, you have downside also. I am going one by one. See, you can see the pop-up. See here. See, this is made through script directly. And you can find all the values. See here. See, this is for one of the STP. This is inlet building. And this is aerator and screw pumps. And this is irrigation and drainage area. And this is sludge. And this is clarifier and RAS building. See this, uh, actually this one, if they are signal, it will be open. It will rotate the clarifier. Therefore, I told you the script. It's very important for that uh, uh, rotations. Okay. And this is the belt plus area. And this is sand filter. And we have screw pump stretcher here also. And this is the overview of our SGP. Okay. And uh, see, you can you can make. See, you are, you have here alarm, events, trends, and everything. This everything I will show on the next session coming video on as part three, because it's very. Uh, I will show you from there how to create the alarms, trends, 
events and other function, functions what you need kindly put your comments what you need for further so i can add that in the next video okay so this is the overview of the video site tech or plan scada for the configuration and uh, demonstration purpose and if you okay i will show if you need any further things see here you can change the login also here from this place so if you have uh, if you need any clarification kindly put in the comment section and also if you like this video kindly press the like button and share to your friends also don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you